Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have my summer 2019 FabFitFun editor's box. So an editor's box is, well FabFitFun is a subscription box. It's quarterly, it's $49.99 a quarter. If you're seasonal, if you're annual, it is $45.99 a quarter if you pay for the whole year and you get certain perks. I'm annual. FabFitFun is more than just the box that comes out per quarter. It also has a couple of sales each quarter and each quarter they curate an additional editors box they call it that you can purchase if you would like to and in the summer summer 2019 I felt like the box was kind of eh and the editors box really intrigued me I thought the editors box looks looked awesome I thought they should have flipped them and then now with the fall box being for me a total flop I'm really excited that I did choose to order this because now I'm feeling like I got an exciting box I do love FabFitFun quite a bit I also have my uh, partial edit sale order here which we're gonna get into and when before I unbox that I am gonna finally give some of my thoughts on all of the issues that FabFitFun has been having there are a lot of really unhappy customers I am still a happy customer I love what they provide I will get more into it when I start to unbox my partial edit order, edit sale order. Okay, but here is the editor's box. The editor's box is $49.99 if you choose to buy it. A tip if you're gonna order an editor's box, don't do it in the sale, in the edit sale. Do it later in the shop because in the edit sale, at least in the summer edit, there were some glitches and issues with being able to choose your options and it was much more limited uh, how you could customize the box if you bought it in the edit sale. I'm so lucky that I saw somebody mention that in the forum so I thought, oh, I'm gonna wait then. And I bought it in the shop later and I was able to customize this box much more than they offered that we could in the actual edit sale. So I am gonna get into unboxing this. Here's what it looks like inside. So they also have an insert. This is my first editor's box. I never thought I would order an editor's box. So they also have an insert. This is a different insert than comes in the actual summer box or the actual subscription box. So this says on the top, it says editor's box right here. And I don't recognize offhand who this beautiful woman is. I, think she might be one of their models. It is a, it's a pretty in-depth magazine. It isn't quite as thick, I don't think, oh, but they have a crossword. It isn't quite as thick, and a horoscope. It isn't quite as thick, I don't think, as the actual seasonal pamphlets. But it has, you know, some fun little articles. I definitely need, I started out as a weight loss channel and I think I'm going to start doing like weekly vlogs of my fitness and whatnot because YouTube really helped me there. Anyway, I don't want to digress too much. A note from us. Oh, okay. So this is the description. It's on this card, the description of all the stuff that's included in the box. So I'm going to need this to reference as I go through. And then there's a $50 gift certificate to Bright Sellers. I don't drink, so let's see if I can get this to focus, and if anyone wants to pause and use the information on there, go right ahead. So here is what's in this box. I am really excited. It kind of makes up for the summer and fall boxes just being kind of eh, in my opinion. Okay, so the first thing is this Marrakesh. This is the leave-in treatment and detangler. They put this in a new bottle. I have tried this before when it was in a fatter bottle. This is by Earthly Body, and I really love their stuff. They had some things available in the fall add-ons, and I bought a couple of them. So I really like their stuff. I like their company. Yes, it's the same formula or at least the same smell for me when I use this it's really important that I don't use it to touch up my dry hair because the smell is a little bit overwhelming but when I use it on my wet hair I really love this stuff this box is so much better than the summer and fall boxes okay this is by Aptos skincare they had a face mask available on the sale the must-have duo duo for fresh skin this summer so turmeric and pomegranate so okay I'll show you guys there you go <laughs> 
That's what that looks like. I don't know what's in here yet still. A year-round beauty staple with a cult following now available in this exclusive set of two to keep your skin looking soft, dewy, and refreshed. Stash them in your jar at home or work or in your purse on the go. Try turmeric to heal or soothe dry skin. Pick pomegranate when you want a moisture-boosting antioxidant treat. I still am not quite sure what this is. I forgot I ordered it June nope July 12th or so it was right after the edit sale closed and so it got here less than a month later for fab fit fun sadly that's really good <laughs> oh it's face mists awesome and they're not rose okay I don't have anything against rose I just feel a little bit like rosed out especially as as far as face mists are concerned. So this is the turmeric one. It smells a little bit like potato chips. Let me see. Oh, did I show you guys? So that's what they look like. <laughs> this turmeric one smells a little bit like potato chips. So the spray on it is a little less misty than I would like. It's a little bit more direct and on your face, but it's okay. It's okay. There are some sprays that they just have a perfectly fine mist and they settle onto your skin so beautifully. And this one isn't quite there yet with the sprayer, but that's all right. Let's see how the pomegranate one smells. This one smells a little bit floral. Okay, so a couple of face mists. These are awesome stocking stuffers, too. I might just throw them into Christmas presents. And then this also had something by Grown Alchemist. And again, if you've watched me, you know that I have liked a lot of their stuff. I haven't liked everything, but I love the company. I love that they're botanical, they're cruelty-free, all of that. This is a deep cleansing facial mask. Wheat germ, ginkgo, and cranberry. And it's probably safety sealed. Their stuff retail is quite expensive. Oh, it doesn't. That's fine. If you're new to my channel, I do reviews on all of the stuff that I get at some point down the line. Now I just smell the face mist. So this does not have a strong smell at all if it has a smell, but I will do a review on this down the line. Again, it is the Deep Cleansing Facial Mask Wheat Germ Ginkgo and Cranberry, and that's what it looks like. I have not tried this one yet. And then this box came with a 111 skin option. So, so far they're doing good. Everything's in here. All the things that I chose are, are correct. So this is 111 Skin Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Booster. And I actually, I think that this must be some kind of serum. There we go. Uh, this is highly reflective with the sunshine coming in, but I think you can get an idea. And this, oh, I haven't been telling you guys the retail prices. So let's go back through quickly and do the retail prices. Okay, so the Marrakesh Leave into Tangular, Tangler, this retails for $15.99. So that's not bad if you're inclined to try it out. Uh, you can go on Amazon. I know they've seen them on there. The Apto Face Mists. These retail for $20. The Grown Alchemist retails for $39. And the 111 Skin, which I will open and show you, retails for a lot. This retails for $160. Wow. Okay, so that's more than three times the cost of the box. And I get this and a whole bunch of other goodies. This was an excellent box. So yeah, this seems like it must be some sort of serum-like product. There is the bottle, it's quite small, retails for $160. This actually could probably even go under serum if it's just a, if it's like, it's almost like a, an essence consistency. So I will review this and I will let you know what I think. One of those many skincare lines that are owned by a doctor. They also had the Mighty Patch as an option. I picked these. These have excellent reviews and I was excited to uh, try because they do get uh, blemishes here and there fairly regularly. So these retail for... I'm not seeing how much these retail for. I think it's something like 15 or $20. It's early in the morning so I <laughs> Maybe not on point here, but I'm not seeing them listed. It's 15 or $20, and they have good reviews. People say wonderful things about them when they're available in the sales. Now, the next thing, oh, this was a choice as well. This is an eyelash curler by Thrive Cosmetics, and this retails for, let's see if I can find this one. Oh, there it is, 20 bucks. I have never owned an eyelash curler before, so I thought that this would be kind of fun for me to try out and see if I like using one. I love wearing mascara. I love big 
dramatic voluminous eyelashes so I always thought these looked kind of like torture devices and I don't know what if you sneeze while you're doing it and you just rip out all your eyelashes it feels good that feels smooth Awesome, I'm excited. What is this now? This is like a card or something. There are a couple of like greeting cards. It's a sponsored item. I didn't know this was coming in it. These are cute. Um, it's, and then it comes with a coupon to buy more cards. Oh, I've seen this one somewhere. I must have seen this on FabFitFun. But this one says you're the sparkling rosé of people. That's kind of cute. Both bubbly and fun. And it feels like it's decent quality. They're a hallmark. Oh, this one's bent a little bit. That's okay. And then this one says, you mean so much. So thankful for you. Oh, I could use that in a giveaway or something. Oh, there's another one. This one says, you're amazing. You are amazing. And then I don't know what that says. Just thought you should know. Just thought you should know. These are cute. These are cute, and you know cards retail for ridiculous amounts of money, so this is probably like 10 or $15 right here. And then it has the $2 coupon. $2 off your single card purchase, so $2 off a card. This is, I got the mini straightening brush by Amika. This retails for $35, and I've been curious about straightening brushes. Obviously, I have curly hair. I've watched a lot of straightening brush review videos, and it seems like they might not be for hair quite as curly as mine. My hair's actually being very tame right now. Let's see what it looks like, and then I will do a video where I test it out. Somewhere down the road comes with this little insert. Oh, and they are showing somebody with very curly hair and how it worked on her hair. So maybe they're going to change my mind and it's going to work really, really well. That would be awesome. So it comes with this nice bag. It is right in here. Oh, it's so teeny tiny. A, a friend said that it was really tiny. And then, of course, the inserts with uh, instructions and whatnot. Okay, so this is it. I'm excited to try a straightening brush. This box is so much better than the fall box and the summer box. I'm really loving it. I think, oh, that's not everything. There's another item in here. This is the Green Goo Hibiscus Plant-Based Body Scrub. This box is so much better. Okay, so this retails for $35. I imagine this is sealed. Okay, oh, but I can smell through it. Oh, that smells good. It smells like a sweet flower. Like a subtle sweet flower. I love body scrubs. I love it, I love it. Okay, so that now is everything that was in the editor's box that I got. So we're gonna put that aside and then we're gonna get into my edit sale items, my partial shipment. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about FabFitFun and what they're doing lately and my thoughts. So this is the box. I actually opened it already last night because there was something in it that I wanted to use. So this is the size of the box and I am not the first person to have this happen. I've seen multiple posts on Instagram and on the forum that this is the size of the box and that these are the contents. That's really frustrating. This, this is happening to so many people. And so my thoughts on what's going on with FabFitFun. I'm still a happy FabFitFun customer. I have experienced a little bit of the inventory issues that they have been having in the past. And when that would happen, I would always just contact them and accept a credit because I didn't want to wait and wait and wait like I had seen other people waiting for that order to finally be fulfilled. I didn't want to feel that frustration. So I just cut my losses, accepted the credit, and I used it toward a future sale. That worked out perfectly fine for me. Now, over the summer, FabFitFun, while they were still having a lot of unresolved inventory issues, a lot of unresolved shipping issues, they opened up, they expanded their business, they opened up to customers in the UK, and they did an overhaul on their shipping warehouse. It's just not a good business idea, I don't think, to expand your business when you haven't smoothed out all the kinks with your current situation. They hadn't 
figured out all of their inventory issues and shipping issues and then they expanded to the UK which is not a small place. <laughs> I'm really actually just kind of worried that this might be a I shudder to say downfall of FabFitFun. So I'm just really worried about whether or not they're going to be able to handle that and if it's going to just cause more issues and more unhappiness amongst their customers. I didn't really care so much about shipping delays and inventory issues. I care a lot about wasteful packaging and I am not the only one that this happened to. And I ordered about 10 things and there are only three things in here. And that is really, really bothersome. That is my spiel. I'm worried about FabFitFun. I think they made a bad business move to expand in the UK. They did an overhaul on their warehouse management system to try to resolve the issues they were having with inventory and shipping. And to me, it's worse. I only have three of the 10 or so items that I ordered and this box is gigantic for what is in it. Okay, that aside, I, again, am still really happy to be a FabFitFun customer. I hope, I hope, I hope they figure things out. Okay, so here is what I ordered. This is what I wanted to use last night. This is the Paradox Game Changer hair mask. And I, my first impression is that I like the smell. I wish that the hair mask felt a little bit more nourishing, but I will, yeah, I like the smell. It's kind of an herbal smell. That's it, that's my first impression. I also love this because they purposefully don't use plastic in their packaging, that is awesome. Yeah, I ordered 11 items and these are three of them. The next thing is the Hyaluronic Serum by Immunicology. I went ahead and sprung for this. I sprung for a couple of higher priced items because there wasn't much that I wanted in that sale actually, but I ended up finding 11 things that I wanted, so <laughs> I'm eating my words there. I'm excited to try Immunicology. A lot of people really like it. They're very high end, very pricey. And then I got the superfood samples. These have really excellent reviews. Youth to the People, this is a cleanser and a hyaluronic acid cream. And it's just a sampler. It has excellent reviews. I want to see how I like these products. And, and then I will give you guys a review. So that's it. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.